Hello there. Welcome to Subway. So, I heard that you was looking to order uh, a catering order? Um, okay. So, you might order it from the one closer to your house. You just kind of wanted to see while you was in the area. Your event's going to be near here. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. Things do vary a little bit from subway to subway, so when we experience those, I will let you know that it might be different the when you live by. Okay. So, is there an idea of how many people you might be looking to serve, or an idea of something that you might be looking for, or do you want me to just go over all the options? All the options? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, I was just making the next schedule in the back. Yeah. Oh, she was new. Yeah, so she didn't know how to do the catering orders. Oh. It's your first time in this one? Oh, yeah. It is very nice. They redid it recently. Yeah, I've been here for about 10 years now. It's been... It's gone through some changes, that's for sure. Okay. Um... Let's see. Well, the first thing, the most popular thing, is our sandwich platters. Mm -hmm. The sandwich platters feed five to nine people per platter and 15 portions. So that's the most popular because a lot of people aren't looking to feed huge crowds. But with your event, you might order several platters if you did that option. They're $39.99 each. I can keep track of it here if you want. Um, and I can give you the payload before you leave. And you can um, kind of think it over and decide what's best for you if you, if you don't to them. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, well, there is a couple combinations that Subway always already came up with. Um, the Fresh Fit Platter, Flavor Flavor Platter, Classic Combo Platter, or Custom Platter, which is what a lot of people end up doing. Well, you can't choose something like Chicken Teriyaki on it, um, because that just wouldn't be good by the time you ate it. But anything that is cold, or would be eaten cold, can be in the platter, and you can choose up to five different things. Yeah, so there would be three portions of each thing then. Right. Right. Okay. So, we have wrap platters as well. Have you had the wraps yet? They're really good. Um, well, it's of course the same toppings and stuff that we would put on a sandwich normally. But it's rolled up, and it looks kind of like a burrito, like Chipotle or something. But Subway stuff in it. If you ever do get a wrap, though, they can't be heated. So that's a thing that, um, you know, if you eat, like, a, a sandwich that would normally be hot, like, the wrap can't be heated. It would, in a toaster, it would turn into, like, a cracker or something, and we can't fold it if it's a cracker. <laughs> yeah. Well, for that, it's the same options as the sandwiches, so it could be anything cold, or there is the three options that Subway has already came up with that a lot of people sometimes just go with those. Um, yeah, customs, really good. That one, though, it, um, the wrap platter feeds 8 to 12, and it is 16 portions, and it costs fifty six ninety nine. Now, the prices on both of those could vary depending on the subway that you order from. I know we used to have different prices on the ones that was already built by Subway. Some of them are cheaper, um, but they have changed it to where they're all $39.99. It kind of makes it a little bit more consistent. Right. things um, with the sandwich uh, platter in particular also the traditional way that they would be built is with lettuce tomatoes and American cheese 
and yeah, there's a reason. <laughs> yeah. um, lettuce, tomato, and American cheese is the traditional way they would be built. And then there is uh, topping trays you can get. So you, we can put, you know, banana peppers, black olives, onions, green peppers, all of the other stuff on those. And you get a, a big tray full of vegetables. That way people can put what vegetables they want on their sandwiches. So especially you, if you would be getting several platters, that is definitely something that you would probably want to get unless you knew everyone was going to just want really basic things or you was just trying to go for something a little bit easier. Yes, that wind is crazy today, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we had we had lost power most of the morning. It was it's been an interesting morning. Yeah. So, okay, and then another option, kind of similar to the topping tray. Oh, the toppings tray, by the way, is 12.49. But similar to that, we have a meat and cheese tray. I don't think this sounds like it would be the best for you. Are you having other food? Maybe. Well, if you was having other food, it might not be bad to do that. But we do have a meat and cheese tray also. If you combined the meat and cheese tray with the toppings tray, for example, you would have everything you'd need to build a sandwich. Um, so people could completely build their own. Um, yeah, it's normally like the deli meats that people get on the, so like the turkey, ham, roast beef is normally what's on it. Yeah, and then cheese, obviously. But the cheese can be whatever you want. The shredded cheese would be a little messy. So most people don't get that one. But Oh, the one by your house doesn't have that cheese. Yeah, we have that one here. Yeah, we have pepper jack, American, provolone, shredded cheddar. And right now at the moment we have feta, but that's just for a promotional thing. Feta would also be really messy, so you wouldn't want that on there either. Um, another option we have, this one's a little, um, it's hard to say what it would be good for because we actually sold an $8,000 order with this before. But I think of this more as like a thing for like a smaller group. So, I don't know. You kind of wanted it to be less. Because like the trays just like look really nice on a table. People, you know, go up, get their um, portion off of it, that kind of thing. Whereas the to-go box meals, they... Oh, the meat and cheese tray is twenty nine ninety nine. yeah. Um, the to-go box meals, though, they are, everything that's with them is already in the box, unless you add bottle drinks to them, and that would be on the side then. But the to-go box meals would have one sandwich in it, a six inch normally. Um, we'll get to that in the pricing. It can be a foot long, yeah, it can be a wrap too. But the pricing would be different. And then one cookie and a bag of chips, and then the bottle drink can be added, and it's not the normal price. It would be a discounted price normally um, it is here uh, our bottle drinks are normally 250 and if you got them with the boxed meal like that then it would be a dollar fifty so you do save some money from that and um, yeah that would be better for like if he was getting the six inch version if he's getting the foot long version you know mm. we do have actually gallons of tea you can get that would be a really good option It'd be probably a lot cheaper to do it that way. A gallon of tea is five twenty nine. Yes. Oh, the tea is so good. That's all I drink here. It is so good. I've been to some subways where... Well, the problem with that is, is sometimes the opener in the morning, generally the person that makes the tea, they don't stir it up right. And then the first few people that get the tea take all the sugar out. And it just doesn't get mixed up right. And it's just... It's bad the rest of the day then. Even if someone else makes tea later on that day, it's still bad. Yeah. Oh, the pricing on that, yes. The six inch um, to go box meal is six ninety nine. The foot long is eight ninety nine. And then the wrap is eight ninety nine also. But the thing with the to go box meals is yeah, some of the sandwiches would be cheaper getting them that way rather than getting them to, like, walking in and ordering the sandwiches. So that's definitely a good option if something like that sounds like it might work for your event. But you 
you have to order eight of them. So with your event, though, that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. I know when I when you first hear it, it's like, why doesn't everyone do that? But you have to order eight of them. That's why. Yeah. So then we have cookies. Um, some places just have cookies by the dozen. That is something that some places have. Um, here in most subways, we have cookie platters, though. And those are three dozens. Um, yeah. So it does save some money. Yes, it does. It saves about five dollars, getting it that way. In total, yeah. The cookies we have here is chocolate chip, macadamia, oatmeal raisin, raspberry cheesecake, and which one did I not say? Peanut butter. Think. Did I not? Yeah, I didn't say peanut butter yet. Yeah. Okay. And then, okay, I'll write that down. Okay. Yeah, I got that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I understand. So, you left Subway about the time I started then. Yeah, I started in 2011. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was 16 when I started. Yeah. I actually really enjoy it, though. It's really great. Yeah, the prices were a lot different back then, weren't they? Don't say I said that, though. I, I actually found a coupon in the back the other day. Not a coupon, but like an ad or like a instructional thing from a long time ago when the store first opened in 96. And it was talking about how they had the, the sandwiches were all split up by sections. There was $4 footlongs, $5 footlongs, and $6 footlongs. Uh, you know, the $6 one seemed probably crazy expensive back then. And now the veggie is almost six dollars. Some places it's over six dollars. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, the one the one that you live by that location in particular, I've noticed that the franchise owner of that store opted to go for higher prices. Yeah. Well, there is minimum prices set by Subway Corporation that we have to follow. So, yeah. If there's like a sale or something that's um, approved of, then we can do that, but there is minimum pricing that we have to go for. Um, really the only other option left, like main option, and then we can kind of discuss some of the details, is giant subs. Have you ever seen those? Okay, I'll show you a picture. You see that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They look really cool. It's really dramatic. One time we had someone not too long ago order 30 feet. Um, now, if you order like 30 feet, it'll come in six inch um, container or six foot containers, I mean. So if you order 30 feet, it will be in six foot amounts. However, you could absolutely take them out of the boxes and push them all together and make it look like one giant sand also yeah. these are a little less customizable than the subway platters would be the sandwich platters well because um, there's two main pricing tiers three foot and six foot and then if you order six foot it's based on the six foot price so for example a three foot amount will serve 10 to 12 people and it's 51.99 you get a small discount if you order six feet though and that would be ninety nine ninety eight, and that would feed twenty to twenty five people. So if you ordered twelve feet, it would be double of the six foot amount. Yeah. Yeah. So the discount stops at the six foot amount. Yeah. But the reason why I say this is a little less customizable is because the three foot option here, for example, can only have two different kinds of meat toppings on it. So. If you ordered a three foot pot, um, a three foot giant sub, you could only pick two different kinds of meat. So you could pick 
turkey and ham. Um, six foot them out, you could pick four different kinds. So it's a little less customizable, I suppose, than the platter would be. You can have more, like, different kinds and please more people then. Yeah, if you absolutely, if you have people that you know, everyone there likes turkey or something like that, then that would not be an issue at all. And it is really dramatic. And then also, you have to think, too, I know the pricing sounds a little weird when you first hear it, but it's not the size of a normal sandwich. So, like, the three-foot sandwich isn't just three feet long. It looks like a normal Subway sandwich. Like a normal Subway sandwich, let's say, for example, that it's this wide. A three-foot sandwich is almost double that. Um, yeah. A three-foot sandwich, we actually, in the back, keep this to yourself. But we take eight sticks of dough in total. Um and braid them together and make and that's how they look the way they do so you're really getting eight foot longs for three feet of like sandwich you know what i mean yeah so it's you know each portion i feel like is a little bit more filling personally if the people at your event likes vegetables and likes toppings on the stuff i would probably recommend the wrap platter in that case because each portion of the wrap platter is very filling and it would be um, just really good however if you was um, worried that there would be some people who are a little bit more picky you might want to go for the sandwich platter and then just get some toppings platters or something like that on the side okay you want to place an order sure so, you want to go with the sandwich platters, okay? How many sandwich platters are you thinking? Yeah, so three of them would feed 15 to 21 people. You have 25 people? Some of them might not eat as much as others. Okay. Well, if you was getting that, you know, like I said, there are 15 portions per platter, so you would have... 45 per portions for the 25 people um, so it would be spreading it a lot thinner than Subway recommends however if you are getting topping trays and if you're going to get other options also then I don't think it would be as big of a deal especially if you got a cookie platter or something too okay so I have three sandwich Okay. Are they all three going to be custom? Okay. So, one tray with all turkey, one tray with all ham, one tray with all cold cut. Okay. No, then absolutely, that's completely normal. Those are really good options. Um, I've noticed it seems like a lot of the older people like cold cuts, uh, a lot of the younger people like turkey or ham, um, and everyone likes turkey and ham in general. The cold cut, some old, some younger people like it, it's bologna, salami, and ham, yeah. But it's all a turkey based meat, so none of it's made with pork. So, on those, do you want white bread, wheat bread? Um, we can do it like a variety of breads. A variety, okay, on all three. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we have white bread, wheat bread, Italian herb and cheese bread, and we just started serving Monterey chatter bread again. We got rid of honey out. Well, we do have flat bread, but we can't serve that on a platter. Um, the flat bread has to be heated up to be folded properly, or be folded easier, I guess I should say. And like I said earlier, if we heated them up, it wouldn't be good by the time you make them. Yeah. So variety, okay. Now, on the cheese, do you want, normally Subway recommends American cheese on them. However, I know personally I do not like American cheese. And you know, that's easy to pick off. So 
So do you want American tea or other writing? Or we can do half American. Okay, half. Half American. Half pepper jack. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. And then, like I said earlier, the vegetables I normally recommend is lettuce and tomatoes. Um, do you plan on getting a topping tray? Because if you do, we can include those on the topping tray. Well, there is a set way that the topping trays are supposed to be made, but the, our franchise owner doesn't really yeah, they're lenient on that. Yeah, we can we can put lettuce and tomato and banana peppers. Okay. So okay, so one topping tray. Okay. Lettuce. Tomato. Banana pepper. Jalapeno. Olives. Yeah, I'll put the, um, the, like, banana peppers, olives, jalapenos. I'll make sure that I put them next to, hmm, maybe the tomatoes. I think that would provide the best barrier from getting those flavors onto everything else. Well, there would be two rows of tomatoes, probably, maybe three. And the first row might have a little bit of flavor from those, but the other two rows of tomatoes will be fine, so... Um, onions, banana peppers, or not banana, green peppers, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I went along with it, I had already written it down, I didn't even catch it. Yeah, it's the wind, it is. The wind is getting crazy. Let me take this off real quick. Since I'm sitting down taking your order. I don't need this on right now. Take that apron off. A little bit more comfortable. Okay. So, so far we have three sandwich trays. A variety of bread. American cheese. Pepper jack cheese. No vegetables on it. One of the trays will be all turkey. One of the trays will be all ham. One of the trays will be all cold cut. Then we have a topping tray with lettuce, tomato, banana peppers, jalapenos, olives, onions, and green peppers. Yeah, we do have cucumbers also. Yeah, I don't like cucumbers either, so. Do you think some people there might want them though? <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so. A cookie trim. Just one cookie tray? Two. Okay. Yeah, if you do two cookie trays, then you can get... I think the, the smartest thing might possibly be to get... Because you can get six dozen in total then. And we have five different kinds. So it might be best to get two dozen chocolate chip and then a dozen of everything else. Yeah, okay. So two dozen chocolate chip... One dozen macadamia, one dozen oatmeal, one dozen peanut butter, and one dozen raspberry cheesecake. Well, actually, every six months, this store will trade out raspberry cheesecake with double chocolate chip cookies. So we do occasionally have those. Typically in the wintertime, around that time of year, we have double chocolate, and around the summertime, we have raspberry cheesecake. So actually, right now, it just turned November, so we actually have double chocolate in the back, but I can't serve them until after I'm out of raspberry cheesecake. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Alright. 
So was you wanting any, um, a lot of times people will order salads to go with it if they have people that can't have gluten or if they just have people that they know won't eat the other food or they might order a standalone sandwiches. There is some discounts on some of the things if you're getting a catering order like this. So it might be a little cheaper. Yeah, I just say that because sometimes people will do a catering order like this and then come in the day of and try to order sandwiches and stuff, which is absolutely fine if you do. But it would be a little bit cheaper if you did it now. Yeah. Okay. So a chicken bacon ranch salad. Do you want lettuce, spinach, or both? Just lettuce? Okay. And that's the base then. And then you want the chicken and the bacon heated, right? Okay. Any cheese in the salad? The shredded? Okay. And then what other veggies would you like in that? Tomato? Onion. I don't blame you. Green pepper. Okay. And then what kind of sauce would you like in it? Ranch. Chipotle. Okay. Do you want the ranch and chipotle? Do you want those mixed in? Or do you just want to just put it on top or we can put the sauce on the side? I know it's a lot of questions. Mixed in, okay. Yeah. Actually, Subway is trying to move away from salads being made that way. They are wanting them to be made the way that they used to be made, yeah. It will help the line move faster at lunch, but it is really sad because the salad the sauce being mixed in tastes so good. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then also we discussed earlier the drink situation. Would you like um, bottled drinks? We have gallons of tea or are you going to get drinks from somewhere else? Some gallons of tea. Okay, we have sweet and unsweet. Mm-hmm. So, two gallons of sweet tea. And one gallon of unsweet. Okay. Yeah. And a lot of times also people get chips with their orders. So, yeah, you have 25 people. Well, we have 12 kinds of chips. So it would be a little one of the kinds we would have three of. We could do a variety and then one of the kinds would have three rather than two different um, bags. Yeah. So. So 25 chips and a little variety. Yes. Yeah, they're normally $1.50. And at a catering order price, they're a dollar. Again, it would be different at a different location, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, no problem at all. I love making catering orders, they're really fun. especially the giant subs. It's interesting trying to teach people how to, yeah, it's like, well, it's hard to get them to learn how to braid it, right? Yeah. I, for the longest time, was braiding it wrong, but it looked okay after it was done, so I didn't notice it. Honestly, no one else noticed either. And then one day my district manager was in, and I was teaching one of my employees how to do it, and she's that's not right. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, oh, I did forget to say earlier. I know you're not getting them. But if you ever do get the giant subs, those require a 24-hour notice. Everything else can be, well, 
don't want them bullied. Yeah, because everything else on here can be made in 10 minutes. I mean, obviously, if it's in the middle of lunch, it might take a little longer. But, yeah, absolutely, we do not mind at all. Yeah, those can be done on the spot, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so, yeah, today's Wednesday. On Saturday? Okay. Mm -hmm. Saturday is November 7th. Okay. And what's the pickup game going to be? Okay. Angela? And what's your contact number in case there's any questions before then? Okay. Mm hmm So seven six five 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 five. Okay. Yeah. No, it was an absolute pleasure. Well, I hope that the wind doesn't blow you away either. Okay. Well, I work Saturday morning, so I'll see you Saturday to pick up your order. I hope you have a good day. Alright, I'll see you then.